What is going on guys, Vlad here with SolarsPLC.com and today we're going to be looking at tying in the time on our PLC to our HMI. So essentially we got a PLC which is running a certain timestamp and you have the settings on the PLC residing but then the HMI displays a different time and this is sometimes of an issue if you have uh, a way to capture your alarm so your alarms could be captured through the HMI and essentially not match the time that is being set on the PLC. That being said, I will show you another trick which I use to essentially display the time on the PLC alone and I don't have to worry about the time that is being kept on the HMI side which may be off for whatever reason and because the time syncing is just not always perfect. That being said, let's get right into it and see what we need to do in order to get this running. So the first thing first, we're going to work with the PLC and right now I'm online as you can see, I'm going to save this program make sure that I have the latest and greatest and then what I'm going to do first is create a UDT for the time so the UDT for the time uh, self-explanatory you're going to have years hours uh, months days minutes and seconds so let's go offline since you can't create UDTs on a running program so I'm going to go offline and I believe you can I think you just can't edit them let's go here I have already an output defined so I'm going to create a new data type and this is going to be my UDT UDT underscore time. Uh, there's going to be no description. So we're going to start with the year. And I'm glancing over because I've already tested this right before. So I want to make sure that I get the right um, the right descriptions in here and that everything works as expected. Month. <clears throat> and essentially this data is being uh, captured by the PLC. So it needs to be in this order. If it's not, it's going to be off and it's uh, going to be uh, incomprehensible data essentially you're going to have days which are stored in months so on and so forth so you do need to follow this specific order we have the hour which is also a dent so everything's essentially a dent I'm going to show you how to retrieve that as well minutes dent then we have seconds and microseconds dent. okay so that looks pretty good we're going to apply that so that's our um, essentially time structure in order to populate the structure we need to create a rung which is going to get the system value through a GSV uh, routine a GSV instruction sorry so GSV get system value and here we're going to say wall clock time so wall clock time is essentially a um, a register which resides on the PLC and allows us to essentially siphon out that information into the tag that we've created ourselves. Uh, local, so local data time and the destination is going to be our local. So here we need to create essentially our instance PLC time. And let's see here and we'll go. We're going to create a new PLC time which is going to be of type UDT underscore time um, and let's make that a global it's going to be on the PLC box on the main PLC scoped tag and this needs to begin with the year so dot year um, and this is I guess a little bit confusing since you're copying into the year but it will automatically populate all of the other uh, registers that we've defined in the in the UDT so don't worry that it's only showing dot year it should populate all of them this looks pretty good let's save this program we're going to hit save that looks good and let's go online let's download this program this new program to the PLC and see if everything is being populated as we would expect okay let's hit download we are confident in all of our changes and that everything should work as expected um, so the next step is going to be essentially linking the the PLC to the HMI and I'll show you exactly where that's done but we're going to just double check that all the data is being created correctly on the PLC side before we move on to that step and like I said we're going to incorporate it into a screen which essentially is going to reside in this uh, panel view plus 1000 that I have in the back here and the goal of that project is to um, essentially display uh, the time on every single screen in the navigation bar on top just so that the uh, for example the operator that walks up to the HMI can have a tag reference and then once the alarms start populating he will know exactly when that alarm came on and make it makes it a lot uh, easier to troubleshoot and understand what happened at which point in time okay so everything looks good we are online so the year is definitely 2018 we can right click this we can go into monitor and here we will see that we are 
the so of course the month is going to be november day 18th hour 17 it is 5 p.m minute 36 so i've actually i synced up the plc to my time clock initially and as you can see the seconds are also being counted as we would expect as well as the microseconds i guess not as relevant but that's uh that's just how it's going to be so now that we know that this data is correct we can go to our hmi program and here like i said this is the program essentially that's running on this panel view 1000 uh, behind me and what I need to do so first I'm going to go into global connections and this is where you will find the way to link the PLC time to your program time so essentially this is going to sync up the time uh, for the different tags on your HMI display and I had essentially these tags in the past but we're going to look at that once again so this plc underscore l24 er is already linked to in my program so this is essentially the link which is done through rs uh, links enterprise so the way you do this is essentially you first of all you refresh all of these tags and you may have done this for different tags but essentially let's do this really quickly for the time uh, so plc l24 er if we expand the section we can notice that there's going to be online tags and here we should be able to find PLC time right there. So PLC time, and we were looking at the year, I believe, yes. So year, and then you can just select this, hit okay. And you can do this for all of these, essentially, let's do uh, really quickly, I guess, month, hour, minute, and second. So that's the way you sync your timer. So global connections in the state and time tab, tab. We're going to hit OK. That looks good. And of course, you can get it to update faster or slower. Uh, but that's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you is in the top bar. So in my global object, I have uh, this essentially top bar underscore zero two underscore top bar. So this is the top bar, which is going to be shown on every single screen in the HMI application. And essentially here you have the user admin, uh, you know, default, so on and so forth. So essentially whoever logs in, it will display on the right. But on the left side, I would like to display a time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to essentially create a text. Uh, I'm going to copy that actually out of my normal display. Let me see here. So the main screen also has a title tab, which is going to be overlaying that global object. So I'm going to to preserve the um, sort of the fonts and the, just the way things look. I want to copy this uh, string over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create. So first of all, I'm going to <clears throat> let's see here i need to make sure that we have only two characters actually this is not going to be this is not going to be a string i think that's a mistake to do it as a string so it's going to be a a display so let's see here so object numeric display so number of digits we're going to start with the hours and that's going to be two there's going to be no decimal places fill left with none we're going to connect that right away and we're going to put that to uh let's see here so hour and of course this needs to be formatted just a little bit better since now it, it has a border so we're going to have none in terms of border uh we're going to have back style transparent so we're going to have no back so essentially it's going to be just itself i'm going to mess with the essentially with the fonts a little bit more because i do want this to be um matching some of my other stuff but we are going to get it to a point where it should work i'm going to align it with all of the stuff um and so here first of all i'm also going to align it to the right and I'm going to make it quite a bit smaller. So let's see here. We can get away with width of 30. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so I can work on it slightly better. I'm also going to include a couple of different objects. So I'm going to put a text here. And this text needs to match the same format as this. And this is going to be just my um, two dots semicolon let's see here so that's going to be 12 uh it's going to be white okay i'm just trying to position everything the way it should be let's see here mm. 
Okay, and since we have our hours, we need a minute. And we're going to correct the fill as well because the fill may not be the same. Minutes. We're going to hit apply. And I think the seconds may not update the way we would like them to, but that's okay. We're going to, uh, because it depends essentially on the connectivity and the update rate of the, of the screen, but that's okay. We can also fix that as well. We can link the seconds, I guess, off the HMI tag. That's not a big deal, but let's, um, so we're going to select all of these tags. Let's see if I can. We're going to select all of these tags. We're going to align to the bottom. We're also tr going to try and see if the spacing would work. Um, yeah, that's not exactly what I was looking for. So let's see. If we can just move that in place. That looks okay. Let's see if uh, the connection is actually making sense. So there you go. That's pretty much the time of the uh, hour as well as the the hour, the minutes as well as the seconds. That's the right link. I'm going to spend a little bit more time trying to fix the so the hour usually doesn't have a leading zero. So when you have, you know, five o'clock, it's not going to be zero five. But the minutes you definitely want to fill a left with zeros like so the same goes for the seconds so that your clock essentially looks like a uh, normal clock and I think we're going to condense this a little bit too because we don't need that much of a space let's see here so I almost want this to be like that and then this time is going to come in okay that looks good and then this last uh, let's see here Okay, that looks okay. Okay, I think that's spacing. Now oh, this is a little bit odd. This uh, this is off by a pixel. That looks good. That looks like the spacing's all worked out. So if we play this, um, yeah, I guess those semicolons are still far away, further than uh, we I want them to be. Let's see here, last. One last week that we're going to go through and I'm going to uh, leave that alone. It's not always obvious the way things are looking on the screen and the way they're going to show up on the actual running HMI. So um, let's see once again. That looks pretty good. I think there's no uh, there's no issues with that clock. Everything looks aligned. And of course, if I if I spend a little bit more time, I can definitely shift that over. But essentially, we're reading all the data. Everything is displaying as is. I'm going to download this. And this particular time is being taken off the PLC rather than being taken off the HMI. Therefore, you're essentially not at the mercy of, you know, the HMI being replaced, which is often going to be uh, before the PLC and then just the time not being synced correctly. So this is the way I like to do it because at the end of the day, my alarms are being saved based off the time of the PLC, not the HMI. So there you go. Everything is linked and working as expected. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.